What's good everybody? It's been a while since I made one of these, but I'm back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do direct inventory corruption. This specific version of that is going to cover arrow corruption and how to get over 999 arrows in every type. The only requirements for this are that you know how to set up inventory slot transfer, and you have a high durability bow in the ancient bow, or the durability up plus twilight bow. You can also use the bow of light if you've stolen that. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's get into how you do this. To start things off, we're going to have six empty weapon slots, as this correlates to the six arrow types. And then put your bow of choice in the final slot, and equip it. After you do this, save the game. Now run over to a store, and set up your offset, and the amount that you want is going to be your key item amount, plus 6, so K plus 6. In this video, I have 21 key items, so I need to make 27 offset, if that makes sense. After you do this, you're ready to move on. After you've set up your offset, you have to head into an area that'll wipe your inventory. So either go into Eventide, or enter Trial of the Sword. I suggest the middle trial, as you can get 6 weapons in it, relatively easy. In this video, I'm going to be showing off Trial of the Sword, as it can be done on 100% save files. Alright, so enter the middle trial. Once you enter the middle trial, fly around and grab all the weapons you need. Remember, based on what arrow type you want to corrupt, Make sure you know how many weapons you're grabbing. So, if you grab one weapon, it'll be wooden arrows. If you grab two, it'll be fire, and so on. For ancient, you need to grab all six. Once you pick up all the weapons, make sure to unequip them, and load the file that you saved earlier. If your inventory goes blank when you try and do this, just throw your weapon and try again. Once you load in, don't touch any menus, including quick menus, so don't swap weapons or anything like that, and wait 30 seconds. Then go grab an autosave. Once you've done this, just load the autosave, and when you load in, your arrows should be corrupted. There you go. It's actually pretty easy to do. You can now repeat this to get all the remaining arrow types that you need. And with that, that's a quick and easy way to get corrupted arrows above 999 on any file. This is just yet another IST glitch I haven't gone into yet, so if you've seen this before, well, sorry. I just wanted to put my version out there too. Anyway, with all that being said, if this video helped you out in any way, or you learned something new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and consider becoming a channel member. Peace out everybody, see you in the next one.